They said you showed a Nazi's Twitter reel. Christians go to Israel to serve Jews. Uh, this is who Assad so is annoying. quoting? <laughs> Notice how he never actually addresses the fact that he gets misinformation about me from Nazis. And he took completely and totally pivoted to like not even true statements in order to defend that behavior. Aligning with Lauren Southern, who- Aligning with? I don't know if I agreed with her on a single take on anything. I'm pretty sure every stream conversation was fighting or arguing about <laughs> Are there videos of me talking about how like, well, actually, excuse me, Europa was just defending the continent from foreign invaders. They were just doing what they felt was right. Is it really that bad if they're firing missiles at merchant ships off the coast? Oh, sorry. <laughs> the Houthis did that, my bad. Death threats that I get from dudes you align with. Hold on, how rich. I'm not only responsible for my audience, I'm responsible for Nick Fuentes' audience? Meanwhile, Hassan's not even responsible for his own audience <laughs> on his co-host for a show that had to end because he couldn't rein in the <laughs> hatred that he was inspiring? Do you care that your your chat is calling me racist? Do you, don't you have moderators? Do you care at all about what I, your audience cares oh, about no. me? 32,000 people oh, in here no. right now. The reason why people are saying that is because oh, of no. the conflations that you made, Ethan. That's why, like... I can't, I can't stop people from viewing you a certain way if you're gonna make these comparisons that they've heard from actually racist people. What does this even mean? I hate these animals so much. I'm never watching this interview. Why wouldn't you watch it in its entirety to bring it down? Because it's gonna way. trigger the f out of me. You should watch it for that reason. How long is the interview? They win over the on these ships and they win them over with their charm and they make them hate America and the U.S. government. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, bro. I'm sure that people that work on international trade ships are huge haters of the United States of America, whose Navy and Air Force guarantee like free passage towards anything we get our fingers on. And they actually, actually they think the Houthis are based that shoot random terrorist drones at ships trying to pass through the sea. Like, thank you for coming on and educating us. Ha ha ha. That's good. Okay, so what does he what does he think about uh, America? I mean, like, if Hassan's audience thought that this was my conversation with Nick Fuentes and Lawrence Southern, I could understand why they would hate me. I would hate me if I had conversations like this. Wait, what Twitter Nazi did I use against Destiny? Oh, is Hassan pretending now that he's is Hassan about to realize that all the negative information he gets about me is from um is from literal griper accounts on Twitter? Oh no. Destiny knows a thing or two about having a prominent Nazi talk about how he wants to. F murder me and then uh you know laughing it off and posting it on lsf and then celebrating said nazi who gave literally thousands of dollars to defend other f nazis so he can miss me with this sh what is he even who's he talking about i don't know is this a fuentes reference or is this a reference to something else or sam hyatt yeah. you got anyone you want to call out in the heavyweight division oh you know it's lad you know that hassan piker i'm coming to kill you is Sam Hyde a Nazi? Ugh, I, he's edgy and I don't know if, I don't know if Sam Hyde is a Nazi, I'm not sure. The weird shit with the journalist a while ago was definitely f weird, but I don't know. Okay. They said you showed a Nazi Twitter reel. I, I wonder if that's a griper account. Wikipedia research stream. All I Not looking good. <laughs> Sean Strickland sure outlines his ability. issues with the LGBT community. 10 years ago to be trans mental illness there's a mental fucking illness do you agree with sean groups of american christians go to israel to serve jews uh, this is who his son is quoting he acts what the fuck jew flag jew flag jew flag and israeli colonial or co i'm sorry colonel uh admits using tank fire and civilian infrastructure this could just be you know israeli war you know they're just uh the israeli secret intelligence service acronym isis oh you know, in some ways, I say they're probably really happy right now, but in other ways, they're probably, like, super molding. Like, again, imagine if you're, like, Fuentes, and you see, like, all of the anti-Semitic shit now, and you're like, fuck, fuck. Kanye West is like, fuck, I should have waited a couple years. I would have been gold. Yeah, remember when Destiny literally... Also, remember... Oh, God, I can't wait to do this with Greenwald. Um, make people own it before they do the whataboutisms. Make people own it. Okay, hold on, wait, wait. You want to say Destiny quoted Nazis? Okay, sure, that's fine. Maybe he did, but you you admit then that you do, right? As long as it's convenient, you quote Nazis, right? That's okay, right? Uh, make him own that before, like, hopping to the whataboutism. They said you showed a Nazi Twitter reel? Yeah, remember when Destiny f literally had a prominent white nationalist loser on a stream and f uh, where he talked about how he fantasized about f murdering me? and how his community literally loves him and defends him all the time, despite the fact that he's given $5,000. Wait, 
What? Talked about how he fantasized about murdering me and how his community literally loves him and defends him all the time. My community defends Sam Hyde all the time? <laughs> Wait, what? I feel like we're kind of like a little bit neutral. Um, some of his stuff is funny. Or, or like ambivalent at best. Do we love Sam Hyde? I think it was funny when he did the, I'm gonna kill you. I mean, that was obviously funny. I think most of my community probably thinks Sam Hyde is a Nazi. Wait, he's talking about Fuentes now? Wait, no, he said fantasize he's about, the wait, he said fantasize about killing me. Isn't he referring to Sam Hyde on the boxing stage? He literally had a prominent white nationalist loser on a stream and uh, where he talked about how he fantasized about murdering me or wait or did did fuentes talk about murdering hassan i think he's talking about sam hyde and how his community literally loves him and defends him all the time despite the fact that he's given five thousand dollars to another nazi's defense yeah he must be talking about sam hyde i think because he's talking about like a donation or some shit no suck my d this is what is so frustrating about was sam hyde ever in your stream yeah i think i interviewed him like two or three years ago or something yeah Oh, having this conversation with people who are deeply... Notice how he never actually addresses the fact that he gets misinformation about me from Nazis. And he took completely and totally pivoted to, like, not even true statements in order to defend that behavior. Good job. Projector, uh, Hamas projection. Unserious. They do not have any Projector piker. Even if I take this walk alone. Who are deeply unserious. They do not have any real frameworks that they operate off of is just like us on and that's it so it's so like his america foreign policy takes nice so stupid when chatters come in here and finally make me blow my lid dude why he literally had chicken and waffles with a nazi a prominent neo-nazi when his career was dead by the way the neo-nazi's career was dead the difference is that I didn't support anything Nick was saying. I wasn't asking Nick, like, man, what, how are you guys planning to win the next election? Like, good luck, guys. Like, you guys are so based. Fuentes, you know who I, you know who I think Nick Fuentes is like? He reminds me a lot of Gohan, you know? Definitely. Can you translate? Tell him, he reminds me of Gohan from, from the Cell Saga, you know? Yeah. He revitalized it. Okay. My face when Kanye West was just watching my stream, waiting. Who am I gonna put in my campaign? And he's like, oh, Destiny had Nick on. Maybe that's a good guy I can grab. The idea that like, yeah, I can't believe he revived the career of a dead, dead neo-Nazi's career. I don't think his career was dead. The point when I started talking to Nick, I mean, he was already, his whole Groper community was already spamming Sneeko. Um, so he was gonna get on Sneeko regardless, because Sneeko will talk to almost anybody or back then would. I don't think I, I don't think I revived his career. Probably helped a bit. The uh, Kanye West stuff would have happened with or without me, and his career would have been destroyed with or without me after the Kanye West stuff. Because Milo Yiannopoulos was the one that dragged him into, um... Uh, Milo was the one that dragged Nick into the Kanye shit, I think. Because it made good content. It had chicken and waffles together. His ex-wife hung out with him. You know what I mean? F***ing sick. While all while also simultaneously aligning with Lauren Southern, who aligning with? Wait, w excuse me. On what? On just like what the Canadian native indigenous populations debate? What do you mean aligning with? I don't know if I agree with her on a single take on anything. I'm pretty sure every stream conversation was finding her arguing about shit. I see everyone do this feigned exasperation thing. Hassan's doing it now. Katie just did it. Rikeda, last debate. Instead of arguing, they just huff, sigh, roll their eyes, and act shocked that anyone disagrees with them. I can understand somebody, like, doing that. I probably do that sometimes. When people are being, like, really obtuse, I get frustrated when people do it when somebody says something incredibly simple or, like, asks a very simple question. Like, hold on. Do you support Hamas? <sighs> <sighs> it's like, what? Are you okay? But straight up was not allowed to go into thing with Lauren Southern, who straight up was not allowed to go into certain countries because of her defense of Europe, I guess, alongside Identity Europa, a real white nationalist operation. True. Did I support any of that? Are there videos of me talking about how like, well, actually, excuse me, Europa was just defending the continent from foreign invaders. They were just doing what they felt was right. Like, 
I, I mean, is it really that bad if they're firing missiles at merchant ships off the coast? Oh, sorry. The Houthis do that. My bad. Um, oh, and Hassan supports that. Oh, shit. Wait, Hassan supports, Hassan supports shooting missiles at merchant ships, but he thinks it's bad if people sail out in a tugboat and fail to stop anything. Huh, weird. C crazy how, well, I wonder what the difference is. And I didn't even support the mission that the Europa people did, because they were all white nationalists. They were retarded. And I made fun of them for the fact that they were literally trying to stop illegal immigrants, and they were illegal immigrants, because they were doing shit outside the coast of Italy that they, I'm pretty sure they got banned from the country for doing. Like, they, they weren't technically illegal immigrants, but like, they didn't have clearance to do that. Like, how crazy. Yeah, this is the web in real time. You can keep hitting on that Lauren Southern and Nick Fuentes shit, but you're never gonna find tweets of me saying like, you know what, actually, Groypers are based, bro. Uh, actually, uh, Project Europa, that was based, bro. Actually, I super support, you're never gonna find me supporting that shit. Because my first exchange with all these people was debate. And the majority of my exchange with all these people was debate. I'm not sitting here like, oh my God, bro, you're just like this one anime and you're so like hot. And like, if I could give you my twink, I would let you it because like i think that that would help the houthis just like bombing merchant ships like stops israel from the genocide in gaza bro and you're like uh, i just want to make this guy seem like a human guy is that so bad like god it's, it's such a weird ugh. of europe i guess alongside identity europa a real white nationalist operation that lauren southern personally went and got on i think it was italian why is he describing this with so much detail like i supported any of this <laughs> like what in ships to, to throw flares at, at incoming migrant boats. Something she was very proud of. Something that she actually- Adam Cohen, in Jordan, 67% of Muslims believe that one should be stoned to death for adultery. The number is 51% in Thailand. 86% of Egyptians believe in death for apostasy. That number is 62% in Malaysia. Is that really 86% in Egypt? That sounds wild, is that actually true? Article 64 of the Egyptian Constitution enshrines freedom of belief, which it states it's absolute. The article also states the freedom of practicing religious rituals and establishing place of worship for the followers of revealed religions as a right organized by law. Egypt has no statutory ban on apostasy. Oh, <laughs> wait, that's kind of weird. What does it mean when you say you don't have a ban on apostasy? Wait, so are you allowed to apostatize people? Oh, no, no, wait, I'm sorry, I'm being retarded. Apostasy is just leaving, wait, right? Apostasy is just when you leave a religion, not when you're killed for leaving a religion. So this is good, yeah, wait. Wait, so do they actually kill people in Egypt for... I thought Egypt was a little bit more chill, but I also, I might be partial. As an American, when I see strong leaders, okay, I'm just like, you know what, bro? I respect it. That's why as Americans, okay, I can respect where the, where the Soviet citizens are coming from. I understand the country you miss, the empire, okay? Dragunov, Rocky IV, I get it, okay? I totally get it, I respect it. You know, I'm, gonna be, I'm gonna be honest, okay? After reading so much about Nasser and shit, listen, my American imperialist came out, and I'm like, you know what, I get it, okay? Egyptians seem like proud peoples. So are Turks, <laughs> they still are today. Um, uh, but I, I, I truly, I don't know the status of how like fundamentalist uh, Egyptians are when it comes to their Muslim faith, I truly don't know. A 2010 Pew Research poll showed that 84% of Egyptian Muslims believe those who leave Islam should be punished by death. I wonder how this like plays out. Like, do they just believe it? Would they actually, do they actually do it? During the trial of the murderers, Al-Azhar scholar, Muhammad Al-Ghazali, Ghazali, Ghazali, Ghazali? I think they usually second to last syllable, right? Testify that when the state fails to punish apostate, someone else has to do it. Fodaz, no, it's usually the last one. Fodaz's eldest daughter defended her father, challenging his accusers to find a single text in his writings against Islam. Wait, did they not get pro- wait, hold on, well, what happened? His killers were released last year as part of a pardon for more than 500 inmates issued by Islamist president 
Mohamed Mursi. Oof. After how long were they in prison for? If they were in prison for like, well, it happened in 92. It said that they were released last year and this article was written in 2013. So what, they were probably in jail for like 10 or 15 years? Name one Egyptian that's not a politician. Uh, what about the one guy from The Prince of Egypt? I never watched that movie. Math moment? Well, he got the militants killed him in 92, but I don't know when they were actually, when they went to jail. I don't know if that takes years or what that process looks like. <sighs> okay. I also do repeat that. Some people in chat were giving examples of Muslim majority countries that aren't theocracies. I've seen that written a lot that basically all of them are, but maybe that's not true. Maybe we can go and look at that up at some point so I know. Alec Baldwin got indicted yesterday. Oh shit, I wonder what for. It's after the original case against him was dismissed. Do you think it, um, I wonder if it could be for like responsibility as a director, maybe? Um, but let's see, a grand jury in New Mexico indicted on a charge of involuntary manslaughter, reviving criminal case. Ross, my two years ago, the indictment which came exactly one year after the first involuntary manslaughter case was announced, was the latest reversal of fortune. The local district attorney's case fell apart and the initial charge against dismissed, but a new prosecution came Carly tomorrow. Blah, 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 decided to present a case to the grand jury. New Mexico and Voltaire Manslaughter Conviction are charged like this. Mr. Baldwin, who both starred in and was a producer of Rust at Western Continue, is not responsible. What does the indictment look like? The prosecution determined that he must have pulled the trigger for it to go off, contributing to their decision to revive the criminal case. I feel like I've thought like three different things about whether he needed to pull that trigger or not. Like I think we thought he did, and then there was another report that said it didn't because it was broke, and then another one came out and it actually did. What was the, does anybody remember the final, um, the final analysis of that actual gun? They issued a new report Oh, August 16th. We might have already read this exact article. But the actor must have pulled the trigger. The gun was broken, but the FBI says they broke it. Oh, really? The FBI investigation, I think, said it could fire when dropped, for example, and the gun broke during testing. Oh, I didn't hear that at all. I feel, I wonder how far the, away they are. Shooting somebody and killing them in one shot. It's like a, that, this is kind of dark, but it's like a really impressive shot. If you actually aimed and shot and killed the person, like how fucking unlucky do you have to be? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Prosecutors have been skeptical of the claim that he didn't pull the trigger. And in January, Mr. Baldwin was charged with involuntary manslaughter in connection with the case. A new set of prosecutors dismissed the charges against him in April, saying new evidence against the gun. Been rehearsing away that day, might've been modified, potentially making an unintentional discharge easier. They had a direct drag on but included that the old fashioned Pieta revolver would have needed about two pounds of pressure on the trigger to discharge a round. What did she even die from? I think she was shot like in the chest or whatever. Steven, wow, Kiro Ku Bandit. Thanks for the sub, everybody. There is a wild footage. What is wild is that there is 100% footage of the shooting. Wonder if it will leak someday or if they destroyed it. Why do you think there's guaranteed footage of the shooting? 30% of Indonesians believe Sharia law should be applied to all citizens regardless of their religion per pew. Jeez. Love your content, Destiny. What's your debate with Ben? Hi. I think she was holding the camera filming. Yeah, but like, where is the film stored or how is the recording made? Because if you destroy the camera while it's filming, then the footage, I think, might be destroyed. Um, 
Well, if it's recording to physical tape, that's not true. I don't know enough about video encoding. Um, I think that if you're encoding a video and you don't, I don't know why, I don't know that I could probably bullshit something, but um, if you're recording a video file and you don't actually formally stop the video recording and you just stop the video recording like spontaneously, that the video file can be corrupted. You must be able to recover that footage though through some sort of program, I would imagine. I would imagine you could, it must be recoverable because there's a lot of data there, right? It's not like you're doing some weird into the future encryption that would require parts of the end, but was it even rolling? Weren't they rehearsing? Um, I don't know, I have no idea. Maybe people, it might be standard practice to like always be recording. Um, Uh, to always be recording. Okay, hold on. Somebody said I need to read Discord. Wait, what? Oh wait, I just got so sidetracked. I'm sorry, finishing this. Jesus, wait. Um, Hassan, sorry, we're on our Hassan obsession arc right now. One sec. Fuck Alec Baldwin. It filmed herself doing. You cannot come in here and tell me about like Nazi this, Nazi that, when you're palling around with these people and trying to f them. What if I, <laughs> wait, what the? Whoa, Hassan is digging into the Kiwi farm floor now. Damn. Bro, just to be clear, okay, whether or not me and Fuentes actually had sex is none of his fing business. That is disgusting. And also eating that he would fing, that he would just instantly think that he could just make those accusations publicly? What the f? See this, not see that, when you're palling around with these people and trying to f them, and also eating chicken and waffles with them. Get the f out of here. These people have made documentaries about their white supremacist values. Okay? Come on, dog. Get the f out of here. Why? Let's say that's true. Let's say all of that's true and more. I am a Nazi, Hassan. What, then what? Welcome to the party? You're right. I am a Nazi. I just don't like you sorting uh, or sourcing Nazi shit because you say you're not a Nazi. If you want to be a Nazi with me, well, just own it. Let's be Nazis together, my brother. My brother in Christ, my Turkish immigrant friend, my Cuban blood, let's go, dude. Erdogan and uh, Batista supporters unite. Wait, who was Erdogan again? I think he was the president of Palestine? Or was that Assad? It's so funny when people are just like palling around with these dipshits, but then again, the argument is white guys that love defending the usage of the n-word turning around and saying oh you know what <laughs> why, why i feel like he's like um it's like every hate thread ever like hassan has a running hate thread of me in his joke he's like oh destiny's criticizing me because i said derivatives aren't real because i don't believe in math okay well did you know that did you know that the only reason destiny was ever even kind of good at starcraft because he abused infestors and nobody else was abusing him at the time and as soon as blizzard patched it he was a washed up starcraft 2 player like oh destiny is going to be critical about my history in the middle east okay well let's look at his match history in league of legends when was the last time this guy was diamond like it's like he's got like a running hate thread of every random thing about me like let's say i am a prolific n-word defender who what does that have to do with any of this what the <laughs> the argument is White guy. He's like, every time he speaks about me, it's like manifesto, like edition version, like 1.78. Is that love defending the usage of the N word, turning around and saying, oh, you know what's really racist, actually? The term worm, dude. That's actually <laughs> what's racist. It's like, okay, well, every single member of your community calls me a fucking cockroach or a Turk roach. Do all of us do that? That's pretty rare. I'm pretty sure that, and when you do see it, I'm pretty sure people get banned or in trouble for it. Because I think roach is a racial slur for um, Turkish people. I think it is. Every goddamn day, in between the death threats that I get 
from dudes you align with. How was that? Death threats from dudes you align with. So now I'm responsible, not only for my whole audience, hold on, how rich, how richy rich is this? I'm not only responsible for my audience, I'm responsible for Nick Fuentes' audience? Meanwhile, Hassan's not even responsible for his own audience shitting on his co-host for a show that had to end because he couldn't rein in the f***ing hatred that he was inspiring? What, like, seriously? What the f***? Left. Do you care that your chat is calling me racist? I have no responsibility. I, I can't do anything all, about that. Don't you have moderators? Do you care at all? The reason why people are saying that is because oh, of no. the conflations that you made, Ethan. That's what, like, I can't, I can't stop people from viewing you a certain way if you're gonna make these comparisons that they've heard from actually racist people. Oh no! How is that appropriate? Like, who's actually racist here? Get the f out of here! I don't give a shit because, like, who gives a f yeah? Turk Roach, it's really funny. All you've done is shown me that you're a four chan loser who's like 40 years old and desperately clinging. <laughs> Wait, where did the point? Is that Aiden Ross's insult? If I ultra hardcore steel man charitable good faith, what's going on here? It might just be because he's because he's liked so many tweets that on me from like accounts that have literally like five followers. Maybe his Twitter algorithm is just constantly feeding him a stream of like anti destiny hate or whatever. Um, and then he sees like the forty year old comments and like shit like that. And may maybe that's why. See, Wasn't he making fun of the commenter's age and not yours? Oh, was I? Well, how would he know the commenter's age? Wait, what? Hold on. How is that appropriate? Like, who's fucking actually racist here? Get the fuck out of here. I don't give a shit because, like, who gives a fuck? Yeah, Turk Roach. It's really funny. All you've done is shown me that you're a fucking 4chan loser who's, like, 40 years old and desperately clinging on to the halcyon days of 4chan. Like, oh, we meme Donald Trump into the president. I thought he was talking about me slash my community here. You think he's just talking about a random commenter in chat? I feel like he's talking about maybe not. Presidency, we can do it again. That's all that shows me. When you use Turk Roach or Cockroach. Um, if you were at any IRL event with him, do you think he would act like Vasha that he see meet up in real life or stand by his words and publicly call you out? No. Hassan does like the, when Hassan doesn't like people, he does, um, he does the little bro thing. Because I've talked to friends that have seen him in real life. He'll just be like, oh. He just like kind of like looks up and like doesn't really acknowledge them. It doesn't talk to them. and just like moves on. That's what it, yeah. Jesus fucking Christ. So funny that this community can still whip up enough support from dumbass liberals who go, oh, that's right. Maybe Hassan is racist. Maybe Hassan is actually, uh, uh, you know, an anti-white racist. I'm white, man. I'm white. The f do you mean anti-white racist? Dumb fucks. Yeah, the largest post on X was a cockroach being electrocuted. The last post about me on, on Twitter is a cockroach being uh, electrocuted. But it's again, it's funny. Was that post like really hurting his feeling? I wonder how I wonder how he thinks Ethan and Ela felt when Ela was literally getting cartoons of her murdering Palestinian children. Hmm. Wow. Knows. But it's again, it's funny because anyone that knows those memes is literally the biggest, most ginormous loser of all time. So it's just that part is really awesome, I think. Go ahead, keep doing it. Yeah, I heard that slur isn't even used outside of US, right? It's a very specific fortune slur. Yeah, exactly. It's not it's funny more than it is. Wait, what slur? I heard that slur isn't even used outside of the US, right? It's a very is he talking about Turk Roach? What slur is he talking about? Is a real slur because it's only used by like the stupidest Roach? people of all time. As opposed to Gusano, which is like the enlightened man, the thinking man slur. <laughs> like Biggest losers, which is precisely the reason why it does not offend me. We're just calling you a race traitor. Nothing racist about that. Which is funny because, like, I'll like the 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 ultra super ironic thing is that I would actually, if there was like an Uncle Ruben, that's my uncle's name. I don't know any other Cuban names. If there was like a if there was like a Coon or Uncle Tom version of Cuban for the United States, I would wear that proudly. You know why? Because in the United States, Cubans do tend to be conservative and they do tend to vote for Trump. They're the only Hispanic demographic that does. And I would on them and I would proudly be a Cuban race traitor if there was a word for that. But the funny thing is that they'll call me a, uh, they'll call me a gusano, which implies I was like 
or my family, I guess, was pro-Batista, anti-Castro, anti-leftist, pro-fascist. But when you come to the United States where I actually live, I actually have political disagreements with the majority of Cubans here. It, it, like, it doesn't make sense on like three different levels. Ugh. Okay. What a guy. What is this? Taking hostages, making them dance, and say they hate. The captors, adversaries, this is not funny and cool. Hassan, they want to be home and will do anything to say, no, 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 this one. Bro, I'm never watching this interview. I will never watch this interview. I will never watch this interview. I wouldn't be able to handle it. Yeah, you about a joke. He's, he, he's saying he hasn't spent much time with Chinese people, but one of the captains, the captain was Chinese and he uh, he, he did caught with them and he uh, uh, danced some music with them and he was vibing. So he he, he, he likes him, yeah. <laughs> so, what, I mean, what? A, <laughs> that's so crazy. So they're just f***ing chilling with the captains? Like, I don't understand. <laughs> like, imagine if, if like, uh it's so bad faith too, and I hate that Katie brought it up. And she's like, oh, well, a lot of these people think you're racist. No, they don't. They just use attacks. Imagine if when, imagine if when like Lauren was talking to me and I'm like, oh, wait, so you guys were just like chilling with the illegals and they actually all wanted to go back to their country and, and the Italians were all giving you thumbs up and they actually were appreciating the mission you were doing. Like, that'd be so cool, bro. Like, imagine if those are, if those are my conversations with Lauren or Nick, then you'd be more akin or more fair to saying that my uh, interactions with them were akin to Hassan's interactions. Like, it's so bizarre. God, I hate him. It's actually so disgusting. It must have been, this must be what people felt like when they watched, what's even comparable to this? I can't even think of what's comparable to this. Some kind of crazy Russian propaganda or whatever. Like, this guy's like literally cheering on the worst, like, scum f***s of humanity that he would never be near, by the way, ever. Like, it's like, I don't understand. <laughs> America's like bomb, so America's like blowing them up while they're just like doing cat and, and f chilling with the captains. Like, how does he feel about that? Isn't that crazy like i don't know how to describe it it's like yeah. he seems it's normal but it's not normal to have your shit blown up you know yeah yeah um, uh, I, he's saying that um they like they went over the the um the crews on these ships and they like like win them over with their charm and they make them hate america and the u.s government <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. yeah bro i'm sure that people that work on international trade ships are huge haters of the united states of america whose navy and air force guarantee like free passage towards anything we get our fingers on and they actually actually they think the houthis are base that shoot random fucking terrorist fucking drones at ships trying to pass through the Red Sea. I'm sure they think they're super big. It only takes probably 20 minutes. Like, oh, actually, yeah, America is like super lame. Uh, and the Houthis are actually super based. Like, thank you for coming on and educating us. Ha ha ha. I'm never watching this full interview. Okay, that doesn't probably take much, uh, to, be, <laughs> to be fair. Um, yeah. <coughs> probably doesn't take much, uh, to be fair. Uh. <sighs> Manifesto? What? There's no point. I think everybody around the world is thinking how insane this guy is. And I think, thank God, it's catching up with them. It's catching up with them, okay? It's happening. They're losing steam. We see it happen. It's been happening for a while. He's getting a show funded by Twitch. It will never end. No shot. Is that actually happening? We're on a big walk. I had a little call that I had to do with Twitch in between. We have a fun little content thing, like a show that I'm uh, working on right now. That I'm very excited to reveal for you guys eventually wait what the fuck is this tweet what does this even mean i hate these animals so much oh who are the i hate these animals so much they have nothing to look forward to other than to fantasize about america doing war crimes to victims of colonial violence victims of colonial violence who is he who, who is he even taught? Oh, wait. Was the United States the first... Oh, the first Gulf War? Was that colonial violence? What, what did he call it when Saddam Hussein invaded fucking Kuwait? What was that? Was that not colonialism? Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> wait, wait. What are we talking about? Who is the colonialist here? <laughs> what the fuck? Was the first Gulf War actually bad? Is that the take we're going here? Come on, bro. I understand America's made mistakes in the Middle East, but the first Gulf War, that's what we're going to point to? Doing war crimes to victims of colonial violence with funds that could instead go to paying for hospitals, roads, and schools.
What? <laughs> Saddam Hussein is like Naruto, true. Damn. I was a Marine infantryman in Desert Storm. We showed a lot of restraint. It was a free fire zone against an enemy that had just sacked and raped a country. We could have killed so many more. Fun fact, they're only brave in mass against unarmed men and women. What a wild, what an insane fucking take. Is this a video that came out like months ago? Or did we watch this like months ago? Oh God, what's up? I might have fucked up. What'd you fuck up on? No, it's, is it years old? Oh, this like trend of like reposting the same fucking clips of like black people fighting or getting shot. I feel like there's like 10 that get posted every two. There's like a rotating schedule of like racists that just repost the same clips over and over again. And every time he's like, oh my God, black people. Oh, it's like, it's so fucking weird. Um, yeah, not today, Tyrone. Jesus Christ. There should be like, a, I feel like if you're posting clips, especially of events like this, you should require like an original date or some shit. It's just really fucking weird. My God. Hey man, it's uh, it's the eight year anniversary of Ab and Breach. Oh shit, nice job. I know. And um, just celebrate, I'm, I'm wondering if you could watch the full Hassan clip. Oh, the interview? No. Yeah. I'm not doing it, I'm not doing that to myself. Well, but you've critiqued him for, for for doing it. Why wouldn't you watch it in its entirety to bring it down? Because it's gonna it trigger the fuck out of me. And I like I actually like there's too many of these issues where I feel like incredibly like per I think I'm getting too personally bought into some of these topics. The J six stuff, like actually like usually I can separate politics from individuals. The J six stuff is making me hate people in this country. I actually hate people. Um and the Hassan terrorist support on a lot of leftists is also making me hate people. Like it's like equivalent to like Nazi worship. Um I'm sorry, it's not. It's worse than Nazi worship because at least the Nazis aren't real anymore. It would be the equivalent to Nazi worship during World War II. The fact that people will sit here and cheer on, like Islamic fundamentalist terrorist groups that are engaged in modern day active terrorist acts like in the West, that's wild to me. Somebody like Hassan would have 100% been cheering on Nazi Germany back in the past. 100%, he's the, same, he's the exact mindset for it. Um, that's just wild to me. I understand the takeaway that you have, and I'm understanding maybe the negative implications, but considering that you've already critiqued him heavily for it, one, and uh, generally I think you're the kind of person who doesn't like to levy huge criticisms against somebody without watching something in its entirety. I think it's uh, slightly unfair, not uh, probably if you watch it in its entirety, it'd probably still be true, but I think you should watch it for that reason. The second reason I would say you should watch it is I think it's a good opportunity for you to break it down, break down all the different points in which he's maybe infantilizing the situation or propping up this terrorist group. And I think it'd be good for your views. It's good for the political sphere. But I also understand like the implication for you mentally. But I'm just saying, consider well, how long job, is the How long is the interview? 44 minutes? Yeah. Okay, this is... A <sighs> um, maybe I will. Okay, maybe I will. Break it down in parts. Maybe do a part one, and then if you can stomach that, who knows? You might actually learn something about the Houthis, or maybe it's just complete propaganda. And as a result, you you, you know you're like, okay, well, I can break down this propaganda. There might be some really meaningful. There. Okay, I'll think about it. I might. I'll throw it up here. Okay. All right. Appreciate you, boss. Okay. Love you. Love you. Okay, Rashid. Uh, how old are you? Where are you from originally in Yemen? Uh, uh, he's 19 and he's from Ib government. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Okay, so uh, what happened? You were, uh, how, how, is he, how is he taking everything? How is he taking in everything so far? Because he's seen the news articles. Keep um, on... Um, he says he's fine and uh, everything is, is normal and the most important thing is um, that they stand with Palestine. Wow. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, how does, uh, what is the mood in, in Yemen overall since America started, uh, uh, bombing, uh, positions in Sana'a and other places? Um, how do you feel in Yemen and how do you feel in the people in Yemen after America started in the Gulf? 
والله شيء طبيعي يعني ما في اي خوف ولا اي تاثير يعني اصلا متعودين على هذا من قبل 11 سنه يعني شيء طبيعي ما في اي شيء. هي سينج ذات اتس اتس بريتي يوزوال ذي بن يوز تو ذس فور 11 ييرز ناو اند ذي ار نوت سكيرد. اوكي ذاتس That's crazy. Does he? Okay, this is a stupid question. Okay, you can preface it with that. Does he? Wa- does he know what One Piece is? Uh, One Piece, like, is that an organization? No, One Piece is an anime. Oh, okay. Um, uh, أول شيء بقول لك إنه ممكن هذا السؤال يكون شوي أهبل بس بسألك تعرف شو هو One Piece؟ عم بدك سمعت One Piece. أكيد يعني مذ الطفولة أنا شاهد One Piece. Luffy. Luffy. Yeah, he said he's he's been watching it since he was a kid. <laughs> no way! Yeah. That's sick. Yes. Yes. That's fire. That's uh, that's so fire. Oh my god. Dude, we we think um we think uh, the Houthis on Allah is doing uh what Luffy would do. You should tell him that. Uh بقول لك حسن انه اللي الحوثيين عم بيسووه زي اللي لوفي اللي 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 بيسويه لوفي. اه يعني والله الصدق يعني احنا يعني اهم شيء ان احنا واقفين يعني مع فلسطين يعني ما يهمنا يعني ون بيس او اي شيء يعني احنا يعني السفن احتجزوها عشان القضيه عشان فلسطين بس عشان ايقاف الحرب في فلسطين يعني ليس على اي شيء او غنائم او اي شيء. هي سينج ذات ذا ذا اونلي موتيفيشن ذات ذي هاف از تو ذير سوليداريتي وذ فلسطين اند تو ستوب ذا ذا اتاك اون فلسطين اند اتس نوت فور اني كايند اوف Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. No, I I'm saying it's a good thing. I I I Why would you cut off the translator? To because you're so happy that he's like willing to I guess jerk off on the biscuit you're about to eat. You're so excited to throw it. Why would you cut off the translator? Oh no, no, no. Yeah, no, I got it. I got it. He's, he's just playing right into my narrative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like why would you cut off the tra- why not let him finish? What what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um uh Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. No, I, I'm saying it's a good thing. I, I, I understand. So that's like that's what he's, um, he's saying that the, the reasons as to why, uh, there have been any sort of, uh, interceptions on vessels. Who is Luffy? What does his comparison mean? Um, basically, I don't know. I don't know anything about One Piece. Supposed to be the good guy in the anime or some shit. I don't fucking. I have no idea. Um, before we get too into this, the problematic aspects of this are that, um. Like, it's pretty obvious that this guy's presence on TikTok, Instagram, or whatever, the goal is to basically make the Houthis look base. Oh, I'm sorry, Luffy is a bad guy. Wait, Lu- Destiny, the good guys, he's the main character. He's a pirate. He's a monarchist. He's the superhero main protagonist. He's an anti-hero. Okay, I don't know. I don't know anything about one shit, okay? But... Basically, the problem is that like people post shit like this because it's obviously propaganda, okay? Now, propaganda in and of itself isn't necessarily bad. Like we sh- all kind of do a little bit of propaganda every now and then. Um, the problem is when propagandists are like lying explicitly about what they're doing. And depending on where your interests lie, amplifying those lies is especially egregious. So the goal coming into this is that the Houthis are just freedom fighting loving people who are just trying to get the conflict in uh, in Gaza to stop. They just want to save the Palestinians. Um, and the reality is, is I don't have as much of a historical background for the Houthis, but probably something along the lines of like, Iran wants the Houthis to stir shit up in the Red Sea and start attacking everybody because it destabilizes the region. It threatens like um, basically US claims that everything is going okay, it causes countries to look elsewhere for protection and help. It's just like it f***s everything up. That's the goal. The goal for the Houthis is to basically just cause chaos and f*** everything up. The idea that they are like um, actually caring about uh you know the palestinians or they're just like doing this noble freedom fighting is bullshit it's stupid that, there's about as much truth and honesty to that as like the united states just wants to free people afar um the the only annoying thing i guess about especially hassan is some people will be hypercritical of u.s statements on foreign policy which is fair um And I think that we should be critical of U.S. foreign policy, especially when we're not honest, right? The United States foreign policy is oriented around defending U.S. interests, okay, and worldwide interests for people that align with the U.S., which is true, which is fine. I think it's okay for countries to vie for their own interests. That's okay. Um, but to be critical of, like, State Department propaganda from the United States and then to talk to an actual propagandist from, like, an Islamist regime that's being supported by Iran and then to take him uncritically and at face value for everything he's saying makes you f***ing retarded. Or... 
an actualist propaganda mouthpiece for a quasi-terrorist, or I think as of today, a terrorist organization, or yesterday, um, which is the, that's that's the issue with what I think this entire interview um, is probably going to be for, but yeah. Is from, uh, is due to uh, the ongoing uh, genocide in Gaza. Um. It's not for loot, no. Tell him it's not for loot. I know it's not for loot. Uh, Somebody said, bro, he's 19. He probably is not a real Houthi, just a random Yemeni. So firstly, um, pe people like this have no problem using uh, soldiers that are incredibly young. So that's fucking retarded, number one. Number two, um, it might not be that he is a, uh, it might not be that he's like an actual official soldier or some bullshit, but they're allowing him on ships. They're allowing him to film videos. They're allowing him to do all of this shit. Um, like, so the, he ha obviously it's some kind of deliberate goal to, you know, spread the message and shit. Um, so Nicole M in YouTube chat says, Destiny is confusing this guy with the IDF TikToks. Hello, welcome to my speech from five minutes ago where I just said that everybody does propaganda. The only worry is when people are lying or when you're amplifying bad propaganda. So yes, everybody does propaganda. But when you're selectively critical of it, from allowing he has a phone? Okay, you're permaban. Bye. <coughs> I don't know if you thought the female name would save you, but it wouldn't be. Um, allowed as in he's on the fucking skiff that's going to the fucking boat, you fucking retard. See it. From, uh, uh, is due to uh, the ongoing uh, genocide in Gaza. Um. It's not for loot, no. Tell him it's not for loot. I know it's not for loot. Uh, Basically, this guy doesn't know. Your We're four minutes in and he has no opinions whatsoever. No questions to ask like an actual fucking like terrorist influencer guy. Like, I feel like if this was an IDF soldier, it sounded a 50 million fucking questions to ask. Hey, uh, why did you guys, you know, shoot at people? The great March of Return. Are you involved in the West Bank? What do you think about like settler violence? What do you think about the fact that an IDF soldiers attack people that goes unpunished so often? What do you think about all the political prisoners in uh, in Israel? Do you think that some of the Palestinian people that are locked up in, I feel like you have 50 billion, but it's a Houthi guy that's taking videos of him going onto captured ships. You don't have a single question to ask this guy besides you know what one piece character would you want to masturbate to lolly on up you don't have a single fucking thing to say how long did he have to set this interview up what the fuck your politics we forgot i know exactly uh yeah, he, he acknowledges that okay this is what people think i did with fuentes and and lauren <laughs> i want the unironically jesus um dude i'm at a i'm at a loss basically <laughs> this guy doesn't know your politics we forgot i know exactly uh so does he i mean i don't know if he can answer this or not but um so as far as the as far as the answer Allah militancy goes like as far as the standing military goes like i don't know i think answer Allah, or whatever the f is the fancy it's like the arabic name or some bullshit for yemen or, or for the houthis or whatever right is that what he's saying here i think um uh answer Allah or whatever is it yeah so when he says that, he means the Houthis. He is uh, allowed to speak on this. I don't know if he's like actually a part of uh, the the groups at all or just like simply a TikToker. You know what I mean? I don't know how to ask that in the best way possible, though. Yeah, I feel I feel like we can ask it pretty directly. Um, okay. Uh, Hassan, uh, يعني شخصية على التيك توك ولا يعني يعني بده يعرف شو شو الرابط بينك وبين أنصار الله طيب يعني بقول لك يعني أنا يمني يعني كيمني يعني أنا واقف على جانب فلسطين. His answer is uh, he's a Yemeni who stands with Palestine. Okay. Um, what led him to uh, go to one of the ships personally? Like what? What? What were some? Uh, oh, he's looking at chat for questions. <laughs> nice. Okay. Reasons that he had. Look at his chat too. Base, base. The, Hell uh, yeah. Hell yeah. Base, base. Doesn't want to go and film it. Oh my god, you're talking about this crazy. <laughs> Ask him if he's encountered Western military. This kid is awesome. Proud of him.
تستفن هاي وشو التجارب اللي مريت فيها اللي خلتك تهتم بهذا الشيء وانه انه يكون جا بالك انه تزور هاي السفن والله انا احب المغامرات وطبعا هذا كل الاجل فلسطين يعني وان شاء الله في يعني في اشياء بتكون جديد واشياء مثيره اكبر Um, he says he he likes adventures and he and he is a big supporter of Palestine and he's looking forward to bigger and, um, and more exciting things. Okay. Well, one, tell him that uh, this. Wait, you're not gonna. That's it. He's a, he's excited. He just likes to support Pal. What? He's inspired. How do you get on a? How do you get on a skiff? How do you get on a little boat or whatever the fuck? That is ran by, I don't think it's a skip, it's probably a boat or something. How do you get on a little boat that's ran by f***ing Houthi, uh, you know, soldiers, military people that are hijacking ships? You were just inspired? This community, this community of mostly Americans raised uh, more than a million dollars for Palestinian charities. So like, so he knows that I'm not, you know, some fed or some shit. Huh. أم حسن بدي اقول لك انه هو كمان من داعم الفلسطينيين وهاي الجاليه اللي احنا trying to like club right bro just so you know my community raised a lot of money انت ميلا لها في امريكا كمان داعم لفلسطين و جمعنا اكثر من مليون دولار بال يعني تأييد للشعب الفلسطيني فبدي يتاكد انك ما بتفكر انه هو يعني انه انه امريكي او يعني انه ضدك او اي شيء هيك والله اقول لها يعني شكرا الله يعني ويعني كلنا يعني كلنا لازم نحن ان شاء الله يعني تنتصر فلسطين ان شاء الله يعني مصر قريب لها واحنا يعني واقفين معاهم لاخر لحظه. امم واحنا واقفين معك هذا اللي بده يحكي لك اياه حسن. امم هي سينج ذا امم يا هي هي جست وانتس فيكتوري فور باليستاين اند هي اكنولوجيز اور سوليداريتي از وان. هير از ان انتريستنج كويشن وات از فيكتوري فور باليستاين مين؟ هاو فار ار يو ويلينج تو جو؟ How are you guys trying to help Palestine? Yeah, um, what does he think about the fact that American media oh. in general- Oh no, we're just gonna shit on America. The country that made your ass a f***ing millionaire that lets you live in West Hollywood while you work for one of the largest f***ing uh, corporate owner Jeff Bezos people in the history of the f***ing planet. We're just gonna go to shitting in America now. Okay, my bad. I thought we were gonna like ask a follow-up question or actually be engaged with with the things that you know this guy who's gotten huge fame and is in fucking Yemen, uh, Yemen is actually saying. But no, that's okay. We can just go through all the meme questions. All right. Um, what does he think about the fact that American media in general keeps claiming that the the reasons as to why uh, the Yemeni uh, militias are are intercepting vessels is for completely oblivious reasons like uh, belligerent reasons and not for palestine they don't talk about that at all here what is he how how does he how does he feel about that um شو رايك بتغطيه الوسائل الاعلام الامريكيه للمواضيع يعني المعلقه بحجز السفن بالبحر الاحمر يعني يعني حسن بقول لك انه الوسائل الاعلام الامريكيه يعني بتحكي انه او بتدعي انه اسباب الميليشيات اليمنيه لاحتجاز هاي السفن Okay, people are donating and saying retarded shit like the ship is open for random people in Yemen. Sure, that might be the case. It might be the case that this guy um went on one of these um he went on one of these tours. That might be the case. But why not ask him that? Why not find out? That's the whole point of the interview. Find out. Why I don't know why you guys are making an assumption that he was on one of these. He might have been. He might not have been. Ask him the question. That's the point of doing the interview, retards. ما لها داعي او ما لها اي رابط بفلسطين، شو شو اليمنيه الامريكيه انه ما لها داعي او ما لها اي رابط بفلسطين، شو شو رد فعلك لهذا الشيء؟ والله يعني هذا كله بسبب عشان يعني يوقفوا الحرب في غزه يعني، خليهم يعني خليهم يعانوا عشان يحسوا في غزه. اه بس بس يعني اللي قصدي اياه انه انه الوسائل الاعلام في امريكا بتدعي انه انه ال يعني الحوثيين عم عم بتدخلوا بمرور السفن في البحر الاحمر او عم بيحجز السفن لاسباب غير معلقه بفلسطين فشو رد فعلك لهذا الشيء You need to talk to him listen if anyone wants me to or if anybody wants to connect me to this guy yeah feel free I'd gladly talk to him don't think that's going to happen but والله يعني صراحه يعني هذا هو الصح يعني انهم وقفوا السفن عشان هذا مؤثر عليهم يعني لو ما كان مؤثر عليهم ما كانوا نزلوا بتواصل اجتماعي وقاموا بضرب اليمن. امم هيز هيز جست سينج بيسكلي ذات امم لايك هيز جست ريتريتنج ذات ذا كوز از تو 
cause disruption to the um like the shipments that Americans have interest in until until they stop bombing Gaza and and that um if they weren't affected by it then they wouldn't retaliate on Yemen. But like I asked um twice about the media and he's just not like Okay. Uh, yeah. Um what has the what has the uh it just doesn't what so they're attacking ships that America is interested in until what Israel stops bombing Gaza? Is that the, so? Every ship in the world, I guess, America is interested in, or um, what has the 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 uh, response from Yemen been since uh, the bombing? Um, and do you mean like the government or the? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maximum Hassan. <laughs> Holy giga chat. Bye. I'm still, I'm still here. I'm still here. Uh, um, what did um, you say? Did you mean Sorry, like, hold on. I thought Grimes was here. One sec. Like, what's the response, um, like, from the people or from the government? or? What's the response from the people, the government? Um, like, All both. of it. I mean, is the uh, people separate from the government? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what does that mean? What? Um... راشد عم بيسألك حسن إنه شو شو هي ردة الفعل تاعت الشعب والحكومة في اليمن بعد ما بلشت أمريكا بالقصف؟ والله يعني قلت لك يعني إنها إنه شيء طبيعي يعني حتى يعني بعض الشعب اليمني فرح يعني فرح لأنها أمريكا قصفت اليمن يعني فرحوا لأنهم بنواجه أمريكا يعني مواجهة يعني ضدها. Um, he's saying that um, again like this is it's it's nothing new for Yemenis and actually some Yemenis are are like proud to be like I, I this is a weird way to put it but he was basically saying like they were almost like honored to be like targeted by the US because they're confronting the US head on like directly no no i understand that i mean it's better what does he think about like um i want to ask him questions about saudi arabia and uae like does he do the people of yemen recognize like saudi involvement or uae involvement in yemen as it's uh as it's an extension of uh american Involvement or American proxies, or do they do they uh, separate that? A lot of people in my chat are typing that. Um, apparently, he had said that this is a, not the best translation. That he said that Yemenis were happy to fight with America. Um, also, I'm curious. Okay, because I don't have as much background for Yemen. Uh, so somebody can tell me if this is like a light propaganda. But when he keeps saying like the the people of Yemen, the Yemenis people, the people of Yemen, or the Yemeni people. What he really means are the Houthis, but I think the Houthis want to be seen or designated as the actual government and representatives of Yemen. Not everybody in Yemen, though, are part of the Houthis, and not everybody in Yemen agrees with the Houthis. So continuing to refer to them, it's like, oh, how do the Yemen people feel? How do Yemeni people feel? How do, it's like, it's kind, I think that's like some soft propaganda that's happening. Um, he should be asking specifically, like, how do the Houthis feel, or how do the people that live, um, I don't know, I don't know if there's a name for the people that live under the Houthis or whatever, um, but... The goal is to um, don't they control most of the populated centers? Uh, I I know that the um, I think the official government of Yemen has control of most of the land. Uh, I don't know if the Houthis control most of the population centers, but they want to be seen as the um, I know they want to be seen as the government. But uh, let me look it up real quick. Arabic is a bit weird, so it could be hard to translate. That doesn't mean the translator is biased. Yeah, sure. I don't know if the translator is like fucking. I doubt the translator would fuck up intentionally, knowing that many people are watching. So, but I, you know, I could be wrong. I'm not sure. Um. The Houthis right now control about 75% of the population, apparently, and one third of the country's territory. Don't know if all the population necessarily supports the Houthis, but I don't know if they necessarily like the Saudi government either. That whole Yemen is a clusterfuck, but. At all. Um, okay, Hassan, I want to know, is that you think that the السعودي او الاماراتي في اليمن هل انتم انه باعتباركم هل هاي هل تدخل السعوديه والامارات يعتبر امتداد للتدخل الامريكي ولا هل تعتبروهم اشيين مختلفين؟ 
والله يعني ما فهمت السؤال لكن يعني السعودية يعني احنا معاها والسعوديين اخواننا كلهم يعني وحتى اللي ينتشر عبر التواصل الاجتماعي يعني ما في منه ولا السعوديين والاماراتيين يعني اخوتنا يعني ما شفنا منهم اي شيء يعني صح انه كان حرب يعني ضدهم لكن احنا الان اخوان يعني وما في اي حرب بيننا وبينهم يعني كل شيء تمام يعني حتى اني دخلت السعودية عمرة يعني احترموني السعوديين وابا يعني ضيفوني وكل شيء والله تمام يعني اوكي شكرا هلا بترجم أه حسن او سوري سوري كيب سينغ حسن um, Uh, he's saying that uh, right now there is no um, like animosity between like to him there's no animosity between Saudis and Yemenis and, and Emiratis like he's saying like he acknowledges that there was a war but right now like he's saying that there's nothing but brotherhood and he even says that he went to Umrah recently in Saudi Arabia and, and that he was treated normally so he himself doesn't I mean he doesn't I guess I don't know he's, he's not like tying the American and Saudi involvement together uh, i don't know enough to call this out i don't know if it's true or not fuck I, w- i wouldn't trust anything being said offhand i know that obviously um obviously the houthis are on the opposite side of the i think saudi backed government in the civil war but i think it is true that saudi arabia and the rest of the countries were like trying to reach like a peace agreement with the houthi people um or the houthi government i think that was the case uh but i don't know enough to say if this is like completely right or completely wrong um <clears throat> Okay, that's interesting. Yeah. That's probably why, um, okay, that's that's good. That's probably why it's like more, um, oh, whoa, oh, what has happened to, uh, does he know what has happened to any of the crews? Like I heard they tried a uh, cat. They tried what? Uh, wasn't it called cat? The, the, the chewing, oh, the lead? Oh, yeah. Cat, cat. Um, <laughs> 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 Are they having a good time? Are they okay? Uh, ان ال اه بقول لك انه التواقم اللي بيشتغلوا على السفن انه كيف حالهم وايش عم تعملوا معهم وانه هل انه عم بيستمتعوا بوقتهم والله الصدق يعني مستمتعين يعني كلهم يعني وعايشين الوضع الحمد لله يعني جو يعني جو خرافي واتمنى انتم تزوروا الجو هذا كلكم يعني يعني انت شفت الناس اللي بيشتغلوا على السفن ايوه و بسالك انه جربوا القات هم yeah when he says crew he means the hostages i think that yemen um that the houthis have right now um <clears throat> so what is the current status of these people um Is the, is the, um, are the Houthis currently holding hostages for, um, the crew that they've captured? Let's check. The story was, oh, November 20th. Hold on. This is months ago. 25 crew members hostage. Whatever happened to these people? They're not hostages. They're guests. I have no idea what the status is on these people right now. The Houthis gave them cot, which is a psychoactive plant similar to weed, so they were probably chilling because of it, not because they're happy. Oh, interesting. December 5th. Crew of the Seas Galaxy Leader allowed modest contact with families. Ship owner. The crew of the Galaxy Leader commercial ship seized by Yemen's Iran-backed Houthis last month have been allowed modest contact with their families while various countries push for the release, the vessel's owner said this week. The Bahamas flagged car carrier was taken to the port of Hodida in the Houthi-controlled north of Yemen after being boarded at sea on November 19th by commandos within the group. The vessel's crew is made up of nationals from Bulgaria, Ukraine, the Philippines, Mexico, and Romania. Safety and welfare of the crew remains, uh, the crew members remains the priority of both owners and managers of the, and the modest contact that has been allowed with crew members and their families suggests that the seafarers are being treated as well as can be expected under the circumstances. Isle of Man registered owner Galaxy Maritime said in a statement on Monday, the 25 crew members 
being held have no connection whatsoever with the current situation of the region. The owner said nothing can be achieved by their further detention. The United States has blamed the Houthis for serious attacks. Okay. How exactly is this ship related to Israel? All of everything is. The whole world is because Jews run the world. Alash, el zarabukat. Aywa, kulhum jarabulgat hatta agupan safina khazan. <laughs> he's saying they've all tried caught including the captain of the of the ship that he went on he's saying that the vibes are immaculate <laughs> no fucking way <laughs> he's, he's, saying, he's saying he's saying he he wants us to visit <laughs> oh dude i would love to one day please i'll pay for it 100 percent i'll fly in first class to yemen i'm i am afraid of america uh bombs though that's uh, what i'm afraid <laughs> he says if you go visit there, you'll feel like you're in one piece and you can visit all the boats. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Okay, so what does he, what does he think about uh, American? I mean, like, if Hassan's audience thought that this was my conversation with Nick Fuentes and Lauren Southern, I could understand why they would hate me. I would hate me if I had conversations like this with, like, white supremacists slash Nazis. If this was, like, the... Because the there's a lot of people in America that also are showing solidarity to the Palestinian people. What is he? What is he? Th what is it? How does he feel about that? Is that shocking to him? شو رأيك بالشعب الأمريكي وهل تعرف إنه في يعني فئة كبيرة من الشعب الأمريكي اللي هي إنه تدعم الشعب الفلسطيني وتضامن معه؟ صح والله يعني في أجانب كثير يعني شفت من الأجانب في أجانب كثير يعني فعلوا معي بالمنشورات حق يعني وكلهم مع فلسطين يعني والله شفت يعني جمهور كبير يعني واقول لهم اي لاف يو يعني لهم كلهم. Um, yeah he says he he knows that a lot of the people that are supporting him online are foreigners um, and um, and he he reciprocates. Best interview of the year for real. And sends back the love to them. Okay. Um, that's cool. Yeah, we love you too, man. <laughs> big, big time. Yeah. I love you. Um, Love you. Do they? Uh, okay, so does he feel like uh, the the war leading up to uh, this last uh, this last thing that occurred, uh, the last bombing campaign that occurred? Uh, does he feel like you know he lost out on years of his childhood? Like, are which what is he talking about? The civil war in Yemen, or is he talking about Israel Palestine, or what is he? There are things that he. Uh, does he uh, does he know of a time? Can he remember a time when he wasn't in some kind of war? I guess because this is like relatively new for him. The Yemen war. His experience, his experiences goes. Yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, Rashid, I'm just asking you, Hassan, is it? Do you feel that? Do you feel? Oh my God, dude! If I want to do like some hardcore troll shit, could you imagine if we invited like a settler from the West Bank on and started like joking about like killing Palestinians and shit? Holy fuck. انك خسرت سنين من طفولتك لانك عايش تحت الحرب وهل تتذكر وقت قبل الحرب هل تتذكر انه يعني عندك ذكريات من طفوله وحياه قبل الحرب I don't people keep saying do an IDF soldier interview an IDF soldier I don't like the comparison you need something more extreme an IDF soldier is not comparable to this it would have to be like an actual fucking like a like a settler terrorist or some shit would be like more comparable than an IDF soldier هل شكلت الحرب كثير من ذكرياتك؟ والله احنا الصدق يعني حياتنا كلها مغامرات. هذا يعني بالضبط. From what I understand, the Houthis haven't successfully boarded many ships. I could be wrong, but I think isn't it just like isn't it just like two or three? I think usually their bombs and everything miss, or they just suck at whatever they're doing or whatever, and then they get escorted by U.S. ships or whatever. But I don't I don't think they've boarded too many. But also, it's I haven't been following the news as much on this. الصدق يعني حياتنا كلها مغامرات. <laughs> he just says their life is full of adventures. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a positive way to look at it. Uh, tell him there's 25,000 people watching him live right now, by the way. I don't know if he knows that. <laughs> he says he says he loves all of them and he wishes they could all try Qat soon and on his on his, and he's and he's uh, treating them to it. Okay, yeah, we I can't wait. We're going My god, dude.
this is so unhinged. Can you imagine Amazon is like paying server costs to do like Houthi propaganda to a bunch of young children in the United States on a video game streaming site? Like the story is ridiculous. I guess they get away with it because they're far left or whatever. But bro, like weren't people, am I making this up? Weren't people trying to cancel like fucking Patreon and shit back when, you know, like Lauren Southern and all these other far right people were being hosted on these platforms. People were like, why do you, why did Patreon process payments? Why are these guys doing the blah, blah, blah. And now you've got like this, like Jesus Christ. Going to Yemen and we're getting caught. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, so the thing is like, I, I don't know, is there any way for him to access Twitch like, so we can see it? Uh, I know you wrote that in the in the earlier DMs to him, but I don't know if he knows any if he knows like who are his favorite. What does he watch other than One Piece? Because he watches One Piece. What else? Because he's like a normal nineteen year old, right? Mm -hmm. Um. So ask him. Ask him what other stuff that he watches. Like, does he play video games? Does he like FIFA? Sure. Um. But do you know what command? But you know, what command? In the game, you follow other One Piece and what you play? I mean, you know, play FIFA or anything. You know, what what you like to play or play? والله الصدق يعني كنت يعني زمان قبل الخمس سنين كنت اشاهد مسلسلات تركيا افلام امريكيه لكن يعني الان ما شاهد ولا اي شيء لا الالعاب ولا يعني حتى ون بيس كملتها. امم يعني انا احب الانمي يعني بشكل عام انا احب كنت اشاهد مسلسل اطفال كثير يعني. Do you think Twitch will actually do anything about this? Apparently they're making a new show with him. Any chance it gets canned? This seems to be over the line. I don't know. That's crazy if they're actually making a show with him though. That's fucking wild for this shit. Uh, it depends on if it gets any mainstream media coverage. Hassan better be praying that this guy is not involved in any wacky shit. Because if there's like some video footage of this dude like killing a hostage or like boarding a ship violently or some shit, Hassan is going to get fucking destroyed. Yes. <laughs> Um, he says that he uh, uh, used to like watching Turkish and American TV shows, and um, but uh, and he also used to love anime a lot. But he says that he's been very busy recently, so he hasn't been watching or doing anything. <laughs> Turkish TV shows? What are Turkish TV shows? Fuck! I just sped this up. I think for no reason. What does he watch Turkish? What does he What does he watch in Turkish? Just to ask, if you were to watch Muhammad Nur. محمد نور اول مره اسمع فيهم برنامج برنامج تركي كان مش مشهور من زمان مش من مش من زمان يعني قبل 10 سنين Turkish TV shows are super popular in the Middle East Turkish soap operas are huge in Arab countries gotcha No he hasn't watched that one but I watched that one No you watched that one yeah Arturul I don't know there's a lot Ah لا محتسن wait that one is Harim uh, Sultan sorry not Nur Mohanad Oh Harim Sultan. Okay. Yeah, that's I don't what know. we can remember. Yeah. No, he's not watching Kurtlar Vadis. Okay. Uh um so he, he doesn't have time to watch uh stuff now, but what did he watch uh, when he was younger? What is he like? Uh why do we care about this? Like uh to to Mujiri SpongeBob Sanafin. SpongeBob Yeah. Tom and Jerry, SpongeBob, Smurfs. Nice, nice. Okay. Hell yeah. That's good. Yeah, this is Hassan, by the way, doing journalism better than most mainstream media outlets, like he said on Pierce Morgan, remember, okay? Um, okay. So you watch SpongeBob and whatnot. Does he go to school? How does that work? I don't know. Yeah, um uh Hell in Tahala Yani M Saj Bil Madrasa and Abitruha Madrasa will la Allah and in uh Khalas Tatanoya. He says he's done with school. He's he's, done he's, with school. he's yeah, he's nineteen. So what does he want to do? What are his aspirations other than go on adventures? شو عندك طموح أو أحلام إن بدك تحققها؟ والله أصل يعني ما فيش ولا إشي ما بدك ما بدك تعمل إشي؟ لا والله ما في أي حاجة أفكر فيها أصل يعني صراحة أنا أعيش حياتي كل كل يوم أعيشها بيومه ما أفكر بال باللي بعده. He's saying that he just lives every day as it comes. He doesn't really have any long-term goals. This guy's a himbo, bro. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Wait. Um. Is this appropriate? I don't know if this is appropriate or not. Is he is he Shia or or Sunni? He's Shia, I assume, right? This Alak is it Shia or Sunni? Ask the question. Is that no? Yeah, man. 
صدق يعني انا ما لا شيعي ولا سني يمني مسلم يعني نفس دينكم انا نفسكم uh, حبيت جوابه صراحه السؤال ما له داعي uh, he he asks he says that he's he's uh, not Shi'i or Sunni he's just uh, Yemeni Muslim oh okay that's interesting I mean I don't know I feel like he's very media trained is that like the uh, is that like a standard answer that a Sunni would give or is that an answer that a Shi'i would give I forget one of them thinks that they're like the real like there are no I feel like Q explains me at one point that like technically all Muslims are supposed to be Sunni, but like Shia like broke off and did some autistic shit, I think. I, I don't know enough about like, um, like Islam, like Sunni, like I think Sunni Muslims, I don't think consider themselves like Sunni. Like I think if you ask, I, by the way, I don't know what shit about this. Like if you ask a, a Sunni Muslim, like, oh, are you like Sunni or Shia? They would be like, I'm, I'm a Muslim, bro. And like Shia are weird people. They don't, I, don't think they, I don't know if they consider themselves like Sunni Muslims, but I could also be totally fucking wrong about that. I don't remember. I think Q tried to explain this to me a while ago. But. Surprisingly, but um, okay, <laughs> that's cool. Mm -hmm. uh, what else? I mean, I have so many. I don't know what. Uh, I'll ask him uh, stuff from the chat if there's any questions in the chat. That's a lie, bro. Houthis literally kill Sunnis for fun. There's no way he's not a shit. So okay, so real quick again. Okay, and again, my um, my history for Yemen is really bad. So I don't know much. Okay, being honest. Okay, but my uneducated understanding is. There was a big civil war that was fought for a long time, okay? And the Iranian-backed Houthis, I, I think it more or less won like five years ago or something. This is pretty much won the conflict. Um, Saudi Arabia is ass mad. The other Gulf people are ass mad, but they don't really want to fight infinitely. I think China, I think we read that article yesterday where China kind of like tried to bring Iran and Saudi Arabia together. And like, hey, can you guys like fucking chill? And eventually I think Saudi was like, okay, fuck it. And now I think that, I think that Saudi Arabia and the Houthi government in Yemen are trying to kind of like be normalized so him saying something i'm i'm doing a lot of extrapolating here on information can be remember, but, but like if what i'm saying is true him saying things like oh yeah like we love like saudi arabia and we like sunnis and blah 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 is not wouldn't be that surprising because um the government doesn't want to be constantly fighting saudi arabia they're looking for like a off-ramp so that they can kind of have like a peaceful resolution to the issue so they can be done with basically right they're, they're they're trying to signal support for um the the current houthi government and the saudi arabian and the other uh, Gulf governments, essentially, I think. Okay. Yeah, sure. um, but uh, there's Palestinians in the chat saying the Palestinians love him uh, and and uh, thank him for everything that they're doing. Uh, uh, well, what does he know about Turkey? بقولك شو بتعرف عن تركيا؟ آه عن تركيا كل شيء اسطنبول إن شاء الله نجي اسطنبول قريب إن شاء الله أقول له. آه uh, he wants to visit he wants to visit Istanbul. nice one day uh, إن شاء الله إن شاء الله. um okay so ask him what made him record the video yeah I mean he already said it though he already responded to it um ask him if he knows Western women are <laughs> why not <laughs> wait why not like get why not dig more into that. Oof. Okay, I won't be critical of like everybody's interviewing skills because it's like a whole other thing, and I, like I'm not gonna say you should be an expert interview, blah blah blah. But like, this is like this isn't even like expert interview. This is like basic people skills. Um, it's really shit to play like 20 questions with somebody, especially when they say interesting stuff that you or, or they say something when there could be more interesting stuff that you need to follow up on. It. I don't know why it's not just like asking random questions instead of actually engaging with anything this guy's saying and asking follow ups. Like get some more information out of this guy. It sounded like he was about to ask a fucking body count question. Well, what did you think about Western women and blah blah blah? Like, yeah, I mean, he already said it though. He already responded to it. Um, ask him if he knows Western women are comparing him to a very famous actor. Oh yeah, does he know who uh, Timothy Chalamet is? Uh, um. بس ألوك إذا إذا بتعرف مين تيمثي شالمي ممثل أمريكاني. very famous actor. عمرك سمعت عنه مشهور كتير في أمريكا. no. لا ما. say say uh, people in the West are comparing him to a very famous actor. بقولك إنه في ناس كتير في الغرب عم بيقارنوك بتيمثي شالمي واحد ممثل مشهور كتير. الله صد يعني هذا أمريكي وأنا يمني. <laughs> he says he says that he's American and I'm Yemeni. That's it. <laughs> That's okay. All right. Fair. 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 He doesn't know who he is. No. No. It's it's fine. It's fine. Okay. So as far as like uh, as far as as far as American involvement, like I don't know. I mean, he's. I asked him about like uh, his American media consumption and whatnot. 
um, overall, what does he what does he think about America? Not just Americans, but what does he think about America? When you think about America, what is the first thing that comes to his mind? Let's see. What would I expect Houthis to say? It sh it's got to be somewhat aggressive towards America, right? Like America's probably pretty fucked, and they don't like America. Um, they're not looking to in this region for the conflict with the Houthis. They're not looking for American resolutions to the problem. They want to provoke America because it makes um, it undermines American presence in the Middle East, and they don't like Israel, obviously. And America's probably the biggest supporter of Israel, so it's got to be something negative about America. That'd be my guess, right? Um, okay. Uh, it or I wonder the real media friendly answer would be are you know whatever for America we just want them to stop supporting the genocide in Gaza let's see بأمريكا إيش أول إشي بخطر ببالك يعني مش مش بس مش بس الشعب الأمريكي بس لما بتفكر عن أمريكا كبلد إنه شو أول إشي بخطر ببالك الله أصل يعني أنا ما فكرش في أمريكا أصلا <laughs> he's saying he doesn't think about America <laughs> okay <laughs> I like that okay fair but well, then earlier in the interview, he literally said, we want a fight with America, but also we don't think about them or, okay. Um, does he have any questions for me or for Americans in general? If there's anything that he wants to know as well, like we can, you know. Not gonna lie, this kid doesn't give any good answers. He just sounds like someone who doesn't know what to do in life and is just following the popular resistance movement he was born into. Uh, possibly, but he's also just like, the goal of giving answers just sound like a cool, hip, like relatable kid that's just like, you know, memeing out in, you know, in Yemen, memeing out with the Houthis. Like, that's kind of the goal. It's not to give any answer that's like too deep or divisive. Mom um, is just kind of like, sound like a cool, relatable dude who's just like hanging out with like, you know, the hostages and like chilling and blah, blah, blah. Like, so technically these are really the only answers he needs to give. Because all the, the only job of this is just make him kind of look cool and relatable to um, to a Western audience, right? Oh, the Houthis? I remember that one guy who was kind of like a, they said he was a Houthi pirate, but he seemed like a cool, normal guy. And he was like attractive and he laughed and he told jokes. And he said that he doesn't hate, uh, you know, Americans or anything and blah, blah, blah. Um, like that, and Hassan is just like a, an actual, for as much as Katie was calling me a Zionist tool earlier, Hassan is like a perfect propaganda piece, um, mouthpiece, because you, you don't even have to make shit up for Hassan. Like he, he'll take whatever you give him. He likes it. You don't have to play Hassan. He already wants to do propaganda against the United States. So he's like the best propaganda mouthpiece you could possibly have. He's like a, a slightly dumber, slightly more attractive version of Jackson Hinkle, basically. Hassan, but ask if you have any questions for him or if you have any questions for the people of America. Well, I mean, there are a lot of people. I seem to be getting his triggers. He thought he would. Well, I'm not getting his triggers. Hassan's just stupid. He's not even doing like good propaganda. He just sucks. He's just lazy and retarded. Hassan. It's hard to, I can't figure out Hassan sometimes. I don't know. Sometimes he's like very far left and like very radical. And I'm surprised that he's actually like sacrificing his, his clout to be as radical as he is. That's surprising me, like the leftovers fiasco. But then other times Hassan is like, I think Hassan is just interviewing this guy because he's just clout hungry. This guy's super popular. He's the thing that everybody's talking about right now. He doesn't actually give a f about the interview with the guy has to say. He doesn't know anything. He's asking retarded questions like, are you Sunni or Shia? It's a f retardedly random question to ask a Muslim in the Middle East. Like he's just, it's just like a stupid interview. I thought that it would have been more, I thought Hassan would be trying to do more like actual propaganda work here, but he's just like disinterested and like looking to farm clout off of the, you know, the figure of the week. That's what um, he's, he's saying that he doesn't have any further questions, but he was surprised to see how many uh, uh, Muslims there are in America and in general how many supporters there are for Palestine. And he sends all his love to his supporters and the people in the chat. Oh, that's a good question. Uh, there are, uh, uh, ask him what he thinks about uh, the fact that in America, some of the like leading groups that are pro-Palestine are uh, led by Jewish uh, people who are anti-Israel. How does he feel about that? Um, but do you know, Hassan, what do you think? Or have you heard that there are a lot of groups in America? Also, not to sound mean or rude, 
for a few things, this guy might not even be like a Houthi soldier or pirate also. He could he could actually literally be just a random kid that they give toys to and let on like boats. And now he's like doing nice propaganda and the government doesn't have any attachment to him whatsoever. That is possible as well. Or it could just be like a random soldier that works like in media or some shit, because especially um, in the Middle East, a lot of these guys are very media savvy. ISIS did a lot of media savvy shit. Um, Saudi Arabia and Qatar, like they all have their own like propaganda channels and they all do their own media and everything. So that's possible too. Um, but like, if you're gonna ask a kid here questions, like I, I feel like the more interesting questions are gonna be like on the ground stuff. Uh, now, I don't know how much he's gonna answer these things, but you know, things like how do you guys decide which ships to go after? Or, you know, what would how would you feel if you hit a civilian ship and you sunk it? Or like, do they worry about dying while fighting? You know, you blah, blah, blah. Like, I don't know, like questions like this. But asking a kid like, what do you think about the fact that uh, in the West, there are pro-Palestinian organizations that are headed by Jewish people that identify as left and progressives that aren't, like this kid's not gonna have a good answer to that. This, no offense, he's 19 years old. He's no idea, I, I imagine, about like the particulars of pro-Palestinian support groups in the United States that are headed by anti-Zionist Jews. Like, such a, that's such a hyper-specific question. There's no shot that he's gonna have like, a, like, like an in-depth in before he gives like an actually eloquent like three minute answer relating to that. <laughs> المجموعات بأمريكا أو المنظمات اللي اللي يعني بتأيد فلسطين وبتأيد القضية الفلسطينية اللي يعني بس هي منظمات يهودية يعني هل يعني هل سمعت هذا الشيء إنه بتعرف إنه في يهود في أمريكا بيدعموا فلسطين؟ والله يعني صراحة أي واحد يدعم فلسطين إحنا معه. He's saying anyone that supports Palestine we're with. Hell yeah. So the, yeah. Good shit. Okay. <laughs> What kind of, I mean, what kind of role religion plays in his life? Does he, does he, can I ask, I don't know if I can ask that. Does he pray five times a day? No, you don't want me to ask him about religion? I feel like that's just not like interesting. I don't know. I mean, I can ask him if you no, want. No, 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 no. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. 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 I mean, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't do any of that stuff. So I, yeah, just, I don't so either. I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to yeah, ask. I know. This. I'm just wondering like what uh, dudes in Yemen are, are, are doing. Are they going to Juma prayer or are they not? You know what I mean? Are they pulling up? Yeah. Or, um, Ooh, well, I have a question about uh, what is what is it like? That there's actually there is. I think that would be an interesting question. There is like a, a a there is a tad bit of an interesting question there when it comes to religion. Like, how much religious solidarity do you feel with Palestinians? Why do you feel so much? Pal uh, why do? Because he said earlier, stand. I stand with Palestine. I think he might have said solidarity with Palestinians. I think the translator maybe. But like, why do you feel solidarity with Palestinians? What is it that makes you feel solidarity with them? Is it the religious aspect? Is it something else? Is it like fighting against Israel or European like settlers? Or what is the feeling? Western back people. Like, what's the feeling? That would have been an interesting question. But do you pray five times a day? Is like, I don't know. At uh, there are so many Yemeni music videos. We've watched it. We're big fans of the Yemeni music videos. You could tell them that. And uh, and there are uh, there are so many of them that we watch on the stream. Like, what's up with the uh, what's up with Yemen? Are they like a specifically musical people? What's going on? Um, بسألك يعني إنه هل الموسيقى إشي يعني يعني الموسيقى اليمنية يعني أنتوا كثير بتحبوا الموسيقى في اليمن ويعني بتحبوا الرقص شكلكم وهيك أشياء والله يعني إحنا يعني الرقص حقنا يعني أكيد تعرفوا يعني بالبرع اسمه How are you curating your questions? Um, how are you curating your questions? Well, there are things that we read and there are assumptions that we make about people and it'd be interesting to hear if their answers line up with like debates on the record or debates on like what people say motivates people in the region right like it would be that would, it would be interesting to hear him say anything it would be interesting to, hear him to say like we don't actually care if the palestinians are religious at all we just stand in solidarity with our you know with our arab brothers against you know european colonialists and that's how they still view the conflict that would be interesting it'd be interesting if he said uh you know all muslims around the world have an obligation to fight when our muslim brothers are being um you know oppressed somewhere you know like osama bin laden said in his letter to america so that would be an interesting answer um I, like there's a lot of interesting answers you theoretically give. that would just be it would be interesting to hear like how do you feel personally about this particular thing um, does it like line up with how we would expect you to feel about this particular thing? How do you feel about the Saudi backed government that you guys are fighting against in Yemen? Do you guys think that government is evil? Do you view those Yemeni citizens as the enemy? Do you think that all of you are just separated by artificial governments that will hopefully come back together? And how do you view reunification in the country? Like, would you want to be brothers again with Yemeni people that fight under the, you know, the Saudi 
backed government's flag. Like, I don't know, all of these would be. How do you view the fact that like some people say you're just Iranian backed terrorists? Like, how does that make you feel? Do you think that bombing boats makes you guys look like terrorists? Does that hurt you guys? Do you care at all about it? Like, I don't know, these are all the things that like, like all of these things about like an individual on the ground thinking about things would be interesting. Um, questions about fucking anime and shit. I just, everybody likes anime. Like, I, I guess what I don't like about this is like, It feels like everybody around the world is human, right? We're all humans. So when you ask a guy, do you like anime? And he's like, yeah. And he's like, oh, like this brown savage that like these guys live in caves, but he has television. Whoa, he likes anime, what? Like, you guys make music videos, you have instruments in Yemen? Like, whoa, you guys have cameras, you can record shit, what? Like, it's like, yeah, they're human beings, obviously. Like, I mean, yeah. I mean, like, yeah, obviously. I don't know, like, the humanizing questions are only interesting, I guess, if you don't view people as humans. Like, I just feel like stupid, but I, but I mean, also some people like it. I don't know. It's like, كثير بتحب الموسيقى في اليمن ويعني بتحب الرقص شكل كم هيك أشياء. والله يعني إحنا يعني الرقص حقنا يعني أكيد تعرفوا يعني بالبرع اسمها هذا وإن شاء الله عقبال هم يخزنوا ويسمعوا أغاني يمنية كلهم. يخزنوا يعني يعني لما لما بتحكي يخزن يعني بياخذ. يعني حط قطعة. آه أوكي آه أول مرة بسمع هاي الكلمة. I don't disagree with your overall point, but the point I think is that they're dehumanized. Well, sure, but then talk about the dehumanizing aspects. People don't dehumanize the people in Yemen because they think they don't have enough music videos. And people don't dehumanize people in Yemen because they think that they don't have Toonami or Cartoon Network. They dehumanize them because they see them shooting missiles at merchant ships in the ocean. So ask questions about that. Do you think that if you were to shoot missiles at a ship in the ocean and you blew it up and civilians died, would that be a worthy cause to help Palestinians? Do you think that would be an okay trade? I don't know, these would be interesting questions. Not, do you watch cartoons? Have you ever heard of Bugs Bunny? Uh, he said, <laughs> this means, that means, that means cut. This, that's oh. what he's doing. <laughs> he's saying that like, that yeah, they love music and dancing and that he wants everyone to, to with him and, and dance and listen to music, I guess. <laughs> Okay, uh, what does he what does he have to say to dumbasses uh, that uh, consider him to be a terrorist? What does he what does he think about that? Oh, see, like now we're approaching inter. That's it. We're almost getting to inter questions. Now he primed the fuck out of that because he's biased as fuck. But ask me a question. I just banned one of those stupid fuckers in the chat just now. بقولك شو رأيك بالمتخلفين اللي بيحكوا عنك إرهابي؟ منهم؟ He says, "Who are they?" Just fucking dumbasses. <laughs> He's like <laughs> dismissing them. How about people from countries whose ships that these flags are flying under are condemning Yemen for the attacks? How about those people? How about the the crew of some of these ships? How about all of the people that have, are rerouting their ships around um, South Africa now because they're worried about getting attacked by Houthis? Like, I mean, any, what, what about any of these people? Like. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Nice. Okay. Respect. Okay. What else do I want to ask? What else do I want to ask? So, like, I mean, he's uh, asking if he would stop going on boats if Israel stops the genocide. I mean, yeah, he's gonna say yes. Chat. What are you talking about? Those are like uh, dumbass questions. Has he ever had like uh, like Western food? Um, Have you ever had a hot dog? بس أذاك حسن إذا عمرك جربت أكل أجنبي. جربت. لا لا ما جربتش اكل مصري بس ايش الاكل الاجنبي يعني هو اكل زي yes. اكلنا يعني كيف اكل اجنبي يعني بالانجليزي اكل بن... <تصفيق> <تصفيق> انه يعني انه اكلات يعني ما بعرف زي الاشياء اللي بياكلوها بامريكا يعني اكيد في عندنا اكلات زي الاكلات حقهم يعني فيها اكلات يعني كلها مواد غذاء يعني كلها نعمه من الله اه بس يعني ايش انه يعني ايش ايش بن يعني ايش بتاكلوا عاده يعني اكلات اجنبيه اذا عندكم أكلات أجنبية والله الصدق يعني أنا ما قد يعني زرت الأجانب عشان أكل من أكلهم لكن الأجانب يأكلوا نفس الأكلات أتوقع يعني ومدري الله أعلم. اه هيز 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 نوت ريلي أنسرينج أي سبيسيفيك لايك فودز هيز جست سينج لايك هي هي يا أي مين هيز جست سينج ذا سيم فود ذا هي إتس ذا سيم فود ذا وي إي. Okay. Um, <laughs> so it's like even like meat and vegetables. Can you ask him if he's ever seen a Pringles potato chip? Can you ask him if he pops? Can he stop? Like what? 
<laughs> is there a KFC there? They're everywhere. I don't think there's a KFC in Yemen, dog. Um, so, is there a KFC in Yemen? KFC. I heard it. Kentucky. أيوة في عندنا في عندنا كنتاكي اثنين مطعم. He says they have two. <laughs> oh, they do have KFC. In I wonder what if it's f- like I feel like it's off brand. Oh yeah, it's gotta be right. Like what yeah. the? F- that's crazy. Okay, that's sick. Um, oh, that's wild. They fucking have KFC in Yemen. There you go. Um, what does he do? What, what does he do for a day to day in Yemen? Like, tell him to walk us through a day like a normal. Okay, holy shit. This looks fucking delicious. Wait, what the fuck is this? Does KFC have crazy ass food now? Oh, I shouldn't have opened this. Oh my god, I made a huge mistake. Okay. Oh damn. Normal day in his uh, day to day in Yemen. Like, tell him to walk us through a day like a normal day in his life. What does he think he's gonna say? Well. I wake up in the morning. Uh, I say my one of one of five prayers. Ha, you almost caught me there. Um, we go outside and we do our daily thirty minutes of death to America chants uh, while we prepare the next mortar that we're going to fire off into the fucking Red Sea in the hopes of hitting a ship this time. Um, I talk to my friend uh, Muhammad Muhammad, uh, and he um, he's the drone operator. We try to pick out targets from ships that are coming through the Red Sea. Uh, at 12 p.m., we eat lunch after saying another prayer and watch Bugs Bunny uh, and anime. Uh, like, what? Um, Does he have a girlfriend? What does his parents think about this? Like, I got a bunch of questions like that. I have a lot of questions for you, but I'll try to make it easier for the topic. So, I'll ask you first, if you can tell us how the normal day for you is in Yemen, how do you do it in the normal day? And do you have a friend in your life now? And what do you think of your friends in the topic? Well, I mean, there's no one. I mean, I don't know any girl in my life. I don't know any girl in my life. ولا راسلت بنت ولا كلمت بنت ولا اي شيء. He's saying that he doesn't talk to any girls, he doesn't DM any girls, he's not talking to any girls at all. اها شور. اوكي ماشي. اوكي. طب طب شو بسالك كمان انه انه ايش كانت رده فعل اهلك للفيديو اللي انتشر عنك؟ الله يعني طبيعي، شيء هذا عندنا شيء طبيعي يعني. Yeah, he says their like his parents' reaction was normal, like it's there is no like Big reaction. His parents are just chilling. Why are they? They're so chill about everything. everything. Is chill. Every no, like everything is chill. Apparently, there's Dude. no nothing is like we're overreacting. It seems like yeah. <laughs> this is why. This is why Jeremy Scales said out of all of his travels, the people of Yemen are the chillest people he's ever met. Like the well, I mean, it's he's like he met. said. So you know, huh? It's the it's the it's the cut. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that yeah. <laughs> Okay, respect. Yeah, I mean, I guess it is normal when it's like that. It's possible that he was media trained specifically for this, so he may know how dumb Hassan is. And I'm saying, I doubt this kid has media training. He pro- there's probably somebody who's like talked to him, and he has like an idea of like what he should or shouldn't say. But I doubt he has like extensive media training. They probably just say like, make sure you don't say retarded shit, like that we want to kill all Jews or we want to like fight again with Saudi. Don't as long as you don't say dumb shit like that. You probably he's probably just saying like random bullshit. That he's probably heard his whole life. He's a 19 year old kid you know in yemen that's like chill with like he's probably it's probably just shit that he's heard like my guess is most young men that live in like houthi controlled territory are probably going to give you like a similar interview he's not like an ultra media savvy you know pirate media mastermind uh let me ask let me ask some other stuff uh would be my he guess? doesn't play any video games he said right uh he, no video games mm-hmm. um okay um i already asked about the anti-zionist jews he said he loves it anyone who is uh anti-Zionist, uh, and, and with the Palestinian people, he's happy with. I mean, I want to ask him about the knife. The knives are sick. What's up with the knives? You know, the curved knives. Uh, um, what do you call the sakakin that you use in the videos? Uh, the... Jambia, Jambia, it's called Jambia. Jambia? Jambia, yes, Jambia. I want to ask you about them. What's the importance of them? Well, this is the importance of them. We have... I don't know, but I feel like they probably don't just let anyone film videos on captured vessels. I think for this one, I think they literally do just let anyone film videos on captured vessels. I think they were doing tours.
Groups of men have been photographed taking selfies and tours on a cargo ship seized by Yemen's Houthi rebels last month. The Iran-backed group hijacked the galaxy leader in the Red Sea in November, saying it was Israeli. Houthi militia members had earlier threatened to target Israeli ships over its war with Hamas on the Gaza Strip. So the ship was carrying 25 crew members. Apparently this crew is still unaccounted for. But apparently they are doing tours and taking pictures and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he says if 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 one of those knives comes out in front of you it's not going back until it has blood on it oh shit okay <laughs> my bad well i mean i think it's cool though um um okay maybe explain why you're trying to get this type of humanizing information from okay shut up why not ask him more questions about that like what do you mean are you like do you combat train with knives are you looking to fight somebody or what like that was kind of an aggressive answer no chatter come on it's not like that's crazy we're not gonna explain that. Um, what does he does he watch TikTok or YouTube? <laughs> Bro, are you serious? Um, هل يعني بتشاهد أي أي حدا أو بتتابع أي حدا على TikTok أو على YouTube؟ ولا تابع. Rewind that. Rewind what? Him reading the chat question. What does he does he watch? We're not gonna uh, gonna get this type of humanizing information from. Okay, shut up, chatter. Come on, it's not like that's crazy. We're not gonna uh, it, just. This type of humanizing information from okay. Um, um, okay. Maybe explain why you're trying to get this type of humanizing information from. Okay, shut up, chatter. Come on, it's not like that's crazy. We're not gonna uh, explain that. Um, like this. What do you want me to say? Like, um, what does he does he watch TikTok or YouTube? Um, هل يعني بتشاهد أي أي حدا أو بتتابع أي حدا على TikTok أو على YouTube؟ ولا تابع شيء الصدق يعني صراحة أنا الآن ما فضي ما فضي يعني ما تابع حد. Why read it? I have no idea. No. I'm from Yemen and it's an old thing. If you take it off, you're either killing someone or you pay like $5,000. Oh shit, okay. I think this guy got more info out of Hassan and kids in America than Hassan got out of him. Yeah, maybe. He's saying he doesn't really have time to uh, do any of that, but um, if it's like important stuff, then he'll watch it. But yeah, that's me. Important stuff like what? Like Al Jazeera? Like what's he watching? Like, I mean, what are the important things that you can be able to get out of it? I mean, this is the day, the time, the time, there is no thing that is worth it to save time for the time that is Palestine. He's saying nothing is more important than Palestine right now, so that's like what he's spending his time on. Okay. What about like, how do you get information about Palestine? That would be a really interesting question because it seems like, um, oh, you know what a really interesting question would be is one is, how do you get information about Palestine? And two is, do you support the October 7th attacks? But more importantly, three is, what do you think happened on October 7th? So one number that I constantly cite is that 80% of Palestinians in the West Bank and 50% of Palestinians in the Gaza Strip support the October 7th attack. However, um, some pollsters say that when you look at some of this polling data, I think that high numbers of people don't know what actually happened or they claim they don't even know if any civilians were killed. I think like over 50% of people in, in both the Gaza Strip and the West Bank don't know that civilians were killed. Now, whether they're not considering civilians as civilians or all those, I'm not entirely sure on that. That's an interesting. But it'd be interesting to ask him that question. What do you think happened on October 7th? And the answer that he gives might be really interesting. Um, I wonder what the Palestinian article, or not Palestinian, I'm sorry, the Arabic article looks like on October 7th, um, 2023, Hamas-led attack on Israel. Um, can I search for Arabic or do I need to look, is that this? And then translated to English, the Al-Aqsa flood operation uh, and in Israel, the Iron Swords operation, as some sources refer to it as the Third Intifada or the Palestinian-Israeli War and is informally referred to as the Battle of the 7th of October. It is an extended military operation launched by the Palestinian resistance factions in the Gaza Strip, led by the Hamas movement through its military arm, the Martyr Ease Al-Din Al-Qasim Al Brigades in the early morning hours of uh, uh, Saturday, corresponding to blah, blah, blah. The commander-in-chief of the Falange, Muhammad al-Dif, Dif, 
um, announced the start of the operation in response to the Israeli violations in the courtyards of the Blessed Al-Aqsa Mosque and the Israeli settlers' assault on Palestinian citizens in Jerusalem, the West Bank, and the occupied interior. Operation Al-Aqsa Flood began with a large-scale missile attack launched by the resistance factions. Thousands of missiles were directed at various Israeli settlements from Dimona in the south to Har Hasharon in the Har Hasharon in the north and Jerusalem in the east. The launching of these missiles coincided with a ground incursion by the resistance factions using four-wheel drive vehicles motorcycles and aircraft. The sailors in other towns adjacent to the Strip, which are known as the Gaza Envelope, where they took control of a number of military sites, especially in uh, Derat, Sderat, and they reached uh, Ofakim, Ofakim, I can't pronounce this, and stormed uh, Nativat and fought violent clashes in the three settlements and in other settlements. They also captured a number of soldiers and took them to Gaza in addition to seizing, uh, in addition to seizing a group of Israeli military vehicles. On October 9th, the Israeli occupation army announced that it had regained control of all the towns seized by the Palestinian resistance factions around the Gaza Strip with a continuation of some sporadic skirmishes. And Israeli uh, Defense Minister Yoav Gallant announced at the start of what he called a comprehensive siege of Gaza, including a ban on the entry of food and fuel. So that's the, this is the Arabic summary at the head of this uh, particular article. Um, so this is why um, when I was arguing with Katie earlier that Arabs have like a whole different view sometimes of conflicts related to Jewish people, this kind of stuff is what I was talking about. That you can read, sometimes you can read like the articles in Arabic and the, the, the presentation is quite different than um, sometimes the, uh, <clears throat> the English presentation. <laughs> Here they call it Black Saturday or the Simchat Torah Massacre. Um, internationally, it's the 7th of October attack. Attacking Israeli civilian communities and military bases, as well as a music festival, resulting in, and then it gives a death. Yeah, so obviously you can see it's way different. So that's why I'm saying that would be an interesting question. I'll ask him, what do you think happened on October 7th? Um, and see like what his response was. That would be a really interesting question. But I think in order to ask that, you would have to know that um, a lot of the people in this region have way different views of what's actually happening than other people. I don't even know what, I don't know what the fuck Hassan thinks about any of this. I have no idea. It's more important than Palestine right now. So that's who, like what he's spending his time on. Okay. He he just graduated high school, Chatter. What does he think about China? What? Does he know anything about China? Should I act the scene? Let's see. I said, gonna lie. Uh, <laughs> Wait, did he just do a racism? Or am I just making a bad assumption there? Wait, what? He's, he's saying he hasn't spent much time with Chinese people, but one of the captains, the captain was Chinese and he, uh, he, he did caught with them and he uh, uh, danced some music with them and he was vibing. So he, 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 he likes him. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. When he says the captain was Chinese, I'm assuming he means like one of the Yemeni military captains? What, or does he mean one of the random captured people were Chinese? Would the Houthis be capturing Chinese uh, hostages? Um, after China, fuck dude. Um, what am I looking for? Galaxy. The Galaxy leader was a Japanese ship. Uh, okay, what, what does that have to do with China? Um, I'm aware that random people work on these ships. I'm just curious if, uh, I feel like you would return the Chinese ones like really quickly, but maybe I could be wrong. I think it was a Chinese captain of an Indian ship. Oh, maybe. Um, let's see, merchant ship boarded Houthi Chinese captain? No. I speak a bit of modern standard Arabic, and his slip up was he initially said, you can come to Yemen, but he realized that was bad, so he changed it to do not come to Destiny. Well, no, bro, he thinks the Japanese ship is Chinese. Oh, he just thinks that all Asians are Chinese. Is that what the meme was? Because I, it was a Japanese flagship, I believe. So, what, I mean, what? <laughs> because that's like, that's such an interesting thing. What do you mean, chi like Chinese captain of your unit or of the other people, or did he, was he just mixing up Chinese and Japanese, or? 
I might have been thinking of the galaxy ship or whatever. Yeah, the galaxy ship, I'm pretty sure it was Japanese, I think. Also, that's true too. Why do you have access to hostages? So crazy. So they're just fucking chilling with the captains? Like, I don't understand. <laughs> like, it's so crazy because if America or the IDF were to give any accounting of hostages like this, Hassan would be losing his fucking mind. But there were no Japanese crew members. I thought the crew were no Japanese in that article. Were they? I thought that they, I thought there was a Japanese crew. Maybe I'm just mixing it up with the, um... Maybe it was just chartered by Japan. Maybe there weren't any Japanese crew. That might be the case. <laughs> America's like bomb so America's like blowing them up while they're just like doing cat and, and fucking chilling with the captains. Like, how does he feel about that? Isn't that fucking crazy? Like, I don't know how to describe it. It's like yeah. he seems it's normal, but it's not normal to have your shit blown up, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um yeah. <laughs> كيف هدول الأشياء عم بيصيروا بنفس الوقت؟ والله الصد يعني إحنا يعني باحترامنا يعني باحترامنا وخلقنا يعني نجذبهم إلينا يعني خلاص نكسبهم يعني خلاص يكرهوا أمريكا يكرهوا الحكومة الأمريكية. He's saying that um they like they went over the the um the crews on these ships and they like like win them over with their charm and they make them hate America and the U.S. government. <laughs> That's so funny. God, fuck! I hate it so much. It's actually so disgusting, dude. That he like it's this is so gross. <sighs> um, wait, where's my translate button? Hello, am I missing something? Nope. English. Bro, how the fuck are these articles sorted? My God. On October 17th, Gaza Health Ministry officials reported that heavy overnight Israeli army bombing had killed more than 70 people, including families evacuated from Gaza City in the north. One of the airstrikes led to the killings of senior Hamas military commander, um, Eman Nofal. In continuation of the massacres in the afternoon, an Israeli raid hit a UN RWA school in the Magazi refugee camp, killing six people and wounding 12 others. On the evening of the same day, the Israeli occupation forces committed a bloody massacre in the Gaza Strip by bombing the courtyard of Al Ali Baptist Hospital, as of a result of which, according to what the Palestinian Ministry of Health announced, more than 500 victims were martyred, most of them women and children. Based. Based, great, accurate article. Nice. But anyway, this is like the type of news that um, depending on what you're reading from and in what language, it can be a little bit wacky, but sometimes. Okay, that doesn't probably take much, uh, <laughs> to be fair. Um, yeah. I mean, what, what, is he, what does he plan on doing once Palestine is free? You know what I mean? امم لما انه بعد ما فلسطين تتحرر شو بتحب تعمل بوقتك؟ امم والله يعني اهم شيء انها تتحرر بعدين لما تتحرر ان شاء الله بنروح فلسطين وفلسطين اهل فلسطين يجوا عنا واحنا نجي عندهم وهكذا يعني الحمد لله يعني بنرتاح. He's saying that um, once Palestine is free then he can rest and he would like to visit Palestine and he would like Palestinians to visit Yemen as well. Me too brother me too. Um okay. Uh, ask him his thoughts on Sean King. Okay, chatter. I'm sorry. Not familiar with maritime law, but given that these ships are passing through Yemen's ease, I don't know what EEZ means, um, doesn't that give them some right to strike these vessels? Um, fuck no. Uh, passage through waterways is considered like incredibly important for economic reasons. Now, some countries will make arguments and sometimes even do aggressive actions towards warships in wartime. But like, I'm pretty sure even Turkey wasn't restricting access to the Black Sea for like Russian merchant ships or whatever, but wartime ones people will argue for it. But no, you can't just start shooting at or striking random fucking merchant vessels. That's insane. Oh, EEZ is exclusive economic zone, gotcha. It's fucking so stupid. Um, 
Wait, what the fuck? He smiled at that. Does he know who that is? Oh my god. I'm Rex Matt to be Sean King. What is my Sean King? Huh? No, no, no. No. Oh my god, I was, that was, okay, Jesus Christ. Um, does he know who Donald Trump is? That of mean Trump, Akid. He should have, a, I'm guessing, it would be a negative opinion of Trump, right? Move the, uh, the embassy to Jerusalem, huge supporter of Israel. Oh my god. Allah, uh, Trump, let the cross Muslim ban, seven country Muslim ban. <laughs> yeah, doesn't fuck with him, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> what's a what's a tell them to teach us a like a uh, not a bad word in Yemen but like how to say like fuck you like in Turkey we have this right what yeah. do they have that in Yemen as well like something like that that's unique um okay do they do the middle uh, finger do they, do they know that well I mean in in like in like Arabs do this like have you seen this the, the, yeah yeah I have yeah this right yeah yeah we do this in Turkey oh. this is Turkey oh. لما بدك تحكي لحدا انه خرى عليك او شيء هيك انه هيك تعمل له بايدك انه هو عم بسالك انه في شيء باليمن تعملوه بايديكم لما انه لما بدك انه تهين حدا كيف كيف بتاشروا لبعض؟ الله هذه هذا شيء كبير بده يتعلم بده يتعلم حركات شو اسمه بده يتعلم حركات سيئه <تصفيق> سيئه والله يعني نفس هم كيف سووا هم هكذا كيف سووا كيف؟ هيك الله هذا الحركة عندنا يعني حتى احنا هذا الحركة عندنا وفي حركة ثانية يعني اللي هي ايش هي الحركة بده يشوفها؟ ها؟ شو هي الحركة بده يشوفها؟ اه عيب 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 يا هي ساز عيب 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 وي از ذا سيم وورد ان ان ارابيك از ويل ان تركي يا لايك اتس لايك يا اتس لايك يا شيم شيم فور Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Ayub. Yeah, I know Ayub. Okay. Um, <coughs> that's so funny. Why is he being yeah, so respectful, fun. bro? Hello. Am I audible? Hello. Yes. You busy right now? Um. Oh, Jesus. Um. Yeah. Give me like six minutes and I'll be done. Okay. Or like seven minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Go. Sounds good. Okay. Be careful. I'll be waiting here. Bye. He's <laughs> okay. That's that's hilarious. All right. Uh, oh, do they do this? This? Uh, do you know what that is? Yeah, he says they have that too. He says they also have this one, by the oh, way. Oh, they do this too? Okay, do they do this? Like the, that? <laughs> like that? Like the, the... I mean, he clearly, he clearly recognizes it, so... Yeah, like this. Uh, you gotta lick it and then, and then do it like that. That's oh, how you do it in Turkey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. What do you mean? I'm just fucking chilling. We're just having a. We're just. We're just vibing, dude. No, just I kidding. know. This is this is the dream blunt rotation right here. Yeah, we're just we're just vibing. We're vibing big time. Okay, this is the this is the international language that everybody understands. Uh, cursing, exactly. fucking football, and and uh, all this shit. But he, but they don't have any. They don't have any like. Uh, you know, he doesn't have any time to watch fucking anime and shit. So I don't know. I don't know what else to ask about. Um. Yeah. So he doesn't he doesn't play any video games he doesn't uh, he watch anime so i don't know what else to ask about what the fuck he said he watches one piece chat he already said that um you need to understand overseas mentality bitch i'm overseas myself per originally shut the fuck up oh uh, okay <laughs> is he getting tired he can leave whenever he wants to okay what's he saying is he saying he's late He's saying that um, he, he like if you uh, want anything from him, if you want him to answer any questions later or teach you any moves or anything, uh, he, you can reach out to him on another day. Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, and tell him, uh, uh, tell him if he if he wants to hit us up from the on top of the on top of the ship. I mean, we could do that too. He's, he's saying that he'll take your picture with him to the ship and take a picture of you with it like this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sure. Um, he, does he have any idea what I do? Like he has no idea, right? Like how would you describe to him? Like I don't know. I don't know if there's anything like any any parallel that you could use, like example you can use to be like this is you know like does he know who Mr. Beast is? Ask him that. That mean Mr. Beast. I'm not to you. Man, who? Mr. Beast. Akid, Akid, Mr. Bean. I'm talking about all the time. Mr. Beast. No, no. He, he thinks you're talking about Mr. Bean. Mr. Bean? No, no. Mr. Beast on YouTube. You have a tiny Mr. Beast on YouTube. 
مس سيرفيس اللي ما يتكلم ولا ين ايه مس سيرفيس اللي ما يتكلم صح لا لا هذاك مستر بين هذاك ممثل هذا احنا عم نحكي عن واحد على اليوتيوب ما عارفه ما بتعرفه اوكي 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 شكرا شكرا بقول لك شكرا بقول لك عادي العفو والله تشرفنا واحلى احلى حسان والله شرفنا He says you're welcome and um, it was an honor to be here. Hell yeah. All right. Bye. Bye bye. Bye. I love you. All right. That was crazy. I, I bet you didn't think that that was going to happen today. Okay. That wow. Crazy. That was crazy. That was incredible. You should ask him about Mr. Bean. Yeah, that, that was a wild, wild turn of events. This was genuinely incredible. This is more than anything I've seen in corporate media and it's incredible to see this community support and learn from their point of view. Love you, Haas. Yeah. What? What was that? Hold on. That glaze? today okay that was incredible you should ask him about mr bean yeah that that was a wild wild turn of events this was genuinely incredible this is more than anything i've seen in corporate media and it's incredible to see this community support and learn better than anything i've seen in corporate media from their point of view love you haas yeah instead of screeching endlessly about how bad uh the yemeni people are uh you know sometimes you just got to go directly to the source baby that's how it works Okay, that was fire. Hold on, I'm gonna thank him again. <laughs> I told Mohammed uh, Al Safin that I I needed his help, but then I was like, I already did it. You know, two days before your picture on top of the ship. Okay, we'll see. But yeah, this is why this is why this is the most goaded fucking political broadcast. You're not gonna get this shit anywhere else. Okay, definitely a bit of an op, isn't it, bro? He's 19 years old. I don't think he's like. Um, I don't think he is going to be. Uh, I don't think he's going to be like, I mean, I, I thought that he was definitely more media trained than I would have suspected.